it just got out of control. And what I was finding as time went on, I was feeling these lumps and bumps and I was starting to get sick. So yesterday we showed you part one of our story on cosmetic fillers gone wrong for Passions actress Mackenzie Westmore, who first shared her painful ordeal with People.com. Sarah, you've got more on this story. That's right, Kit. Mackenzie tells me too much filler over the years not only made her want to hide her face, it also caused her to become physically sick, even impacting her vision. She finally had enough, and recently she turned to renowned plastic surgeon Dr. Paul Ness. I always told Dr. Ness if I just wanted to be me again. I just wanted my life back. Dr. Nassif, when Mackenzie first came to you with this case, what did you think of the filler as it currently stood? Overdone. We went from a normal, beautiful, heart-shaped face, with what she has now, to more of a, a rectangular face. It's addicting. And that's what happens. And we had to pretty much deconstruct her before we can reconstruct her. The first step was to remove the filler in Mackenzie's face. Dr. Nassif was able to take out most of it using filler reversal injections. Next was reconstructive surgery. The goal with both steps was to make Mackenzie look how she did pre-filler. This is after the filler removal, and you can see the excess skin, especially, you know, she's pretty young, to have all that excess skin, especially around the mouth. And this is following what we call a deep plane face and neck lift. She keeps the same features in a natural way, get rid of that extra tissue. But there is one thing that's very interesting. When it came to her eyebrows, I thought I needed to take away skin on the upper eyelid. But what was happening after we removed all the filler, it was really the eyebrows were being pushed down. Oh my so we switched last minute to do what we call an endoscopic brow lift to elevate the brows back to where they used to be. So if you look right now, this is now after the fillers. We can see that her eyebrows are low, and then here's the after. Wow. And before the procedure, Mackenzie believed the fillers caused her to have blurry vision, which she no longer has. My vision is perfect now because of what he did. If you look at her funnel view, especially in her eyes, it almost looks like her eyes are almost closed. Mm -hmm. Now when you look at the after, the more open. What a transformation. One thing that I have personally found through this whole process is, I mean, not only has Dr. Nassif given me my face back, but interestingly through this process, my voice back. My husband, who I know loves me so much, was very honest that he lost his wife through the years. Mackenzie got especially emotional, reflecting on how her husband, director Patrick Tatopoulos, told her he lost attraction for her due to the filler in her face. He never stopped loving me, but he lost attraction and just admitted to me that he's got his wife back. Oh, man. And that was a big thing to hear. Right. And he really has filler in my life back.